Hello guys and welcome back to Rollercoaster Tycoon World videos. So sorry there hasn't been one in a while and there's been a lot of news. Uh, sorry, holiday plus things being hectic with um, like college and results and all that sort of stuff. But um, and you may have also noticed that DTSA has haven't been going out as frequently as they should be. But don't panic. I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm I'm getting on top of it. I'm getting back into it, so it's fine. Just give it a bit. There's also going to be some more new videos coming out as well. Stuff like Orcs Must Die. And um, I've got a special video coming out of a closed beta of a game. But I'll keep that surprise in a couple of days time. Um, with obviously also DTSA getting back into full swing. But anyways. Um, so Rollercoaster Tycoon World. So I'm aware right now the game is at PAX. And like there's news pouring out and videos and screenshots uh, hitting the web. I feel like I've been looking through all this new pack stuff. Um, I've been like going all around the internet finding lots of different bits and pieces. I feel the PAX news, like the stuff they revealed at PAX, probably needs its own separate video for me to go through it. So I'm going to wait until PAX is finished. And then I'm going to wait for the next blog post after that as well because there's going to be some news about pre-orders. So I'll cover all that in the next video, um, hopefully if they actually announce that. Um, but definitely when the blog post 17 goes out, or yeah it is 17, uh, blog post 17 goes out, I will do another video and I'll explain all the stuff of packs and everything. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through all the information we've learned from blog post 13 to 16. There's not very much in... Um, 13 however um, just apart from user generated contents now can be at launch and also the um, it's been confirmed that the multiplayer aspect of the game will not be available at launch so they've uh, it, what it looks like is they've favored um, mods and like custom content over um, multiplayer right now which I isn't such a bad thing uh, I mean the multiplayer is gonna be coming as part of a free update but it just feels like maybe they could have kept the game in development a bit longer to have added multiplayer at the start. Um, they've also confirmed that um, for user-generated content, if any 3D model you have was created in a 3D program that works with Unity, then you'll be able to import it into the game. So anything that works with Unity 3D model-wise will be able to be imported into the game, which gives, I guess, creators a lot of uh, scope and opportunity for um, creating like lots of cool custom content. Also, it's confirmed that Steam Workshop will be available for this game, so that's going to be really good. You'll be able to um, download and put stuff into your game for either Steam Workshop without even having to restart the game, apparently. Um, so, that's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of mod support via Steam Workshop, so... That'd be great putting stuff like that in. So that's pretty much what blog post 13 says. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, yeah. Apart from that, they just say what their plans are and telling us what they're going to be doing, um, like with the blog posts and everything. So that's a bit irrelevant. But the next blog post 14 um, is basically their is uh, basically they got one of the staff at Navizio, Sorry if I said that wrong again. Um, to go through the production process of the attractions in the game, um, and there's like a whole bunch of pictures of them like in development and like the concept arts, all of which are currently not loading on my screen for some reason. But yeah, so basically they just explain, I'm not going to go through this, I think this is something that probably needs to be read more. So this isn't really news, but it's, a, it's an interesting read if you're interested in how they go through making rides in the game. Um, I'll leave a link to this as well. Um, I'll put a couple of the pictures on screen, or I'll probably have by now. But um, yeah, it's, it's there if you want to see it. Um, so blog post 15, now there's a lot of stuff in this one, this is like the, the blog post 16, I'm going to do 16 first because it just literally says they're going to be at PAX and they're offering, they offered a competition that allowed you to be, um, uh, that allowed you to go to the VIP demo and it said the game's playable and everything, so yeah, they didn't really say much more than that. 
Um, so it's blog post 15 where most of the uh, information from this video is going to come from. Uh, and this is basically, it updates the feature list and gives us some new screenshots to break down and go through. Um, so we will probably go through the screenshots first, I think. So there's two screenshots of a wooden coaster station. I remember in the last video we were given um, the steel coaster station. Um, now we've seen people use the steel coaster station at um, games, uh, get, uh, no, packs uh, in some videos, but again I'll come to that in the next video. So we've got the interior shot here. Now they've also confirmed for this game that the game's going to run at 4K resolution because they want this game, like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, to last quite a while. So that's probably a smart move for making the game 4K off the bat. Um, looking at this, the graphics again looking good. Um, well, I say looking good. They're looking pretty good, but I still feel like from the screenshot they could probably, I don't know, maybe be a bit better. Uh, inside the station looks fantastic, but if you, you know, if you look outside, um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't. If you look into the background, the gra it looks a bit weird. Maybe it's just because we're like inside a building, the graphics change inside a building, I don't know. Or maybe they're once again showing us uh, low resolution, uh, well, low graphical thing. You know what I'm going on about. Um, but the actual coast station itself looks nice. It's in that same style as the steel one, so you've got those... Um, entry style things there that allows them to get onto the ride quickly. Over there is the control booth, but interestingly there's no traffic light. Interesting. Um, but if we look into the background here, there are still no banked curves. Now, if I had made a video on this before PAX, I would have ranted about there being no banked curves. I would have told everyone to have just not, uh, not be interested in this game. However, at PAX, we have seen people build coasters with bank curves, so it's just literally the devs can't use bank curves apparently. So don't panic, bank curves are in the game, but they're just not in any of the current screenshots, which is a bit weird. Um, loving the sun draft effect though, uh, through the um, through the windows. Um, yeah, this is looking great. So we'll move on to the external shot, which look, the graphics look completely different. Now this looks actually uh, quite a bit better. Um, loving the textures, uh, the textures are really good. Uh, we also get the uh, coaster in this shot. Again though, exit wise, this doesn't make much sense. Um, where do they A, get off the ride? Uh, it's very hard to work out. The best place I can work out is on the left over there. Well, I'll, I'll highlight it in the video. but. Um, that's like the best place I could think they're going to get off the ride. It's not very clear. It seems like the, the part of the station is very empty as well. Um, also, there's a big gap over here. What's that all about? Uh, and also, actually, thirdly, this doesn't help uh, explain can the stations be bigger than this? Because it looks like, at the moment, it still looks like and we're not going to have control of how big the stations are. They are pre-built that way. I mean, maybe custom content allows for bigger stations and more trains, but it just feels a little weird at the moment. It's just a bit weird at the moment. Uh, the, it should, this is something they should confirm, whether you can have bigger stations or not. That is something that needs to be really confirmed. If we have a look at the left hand side, the sky looks completely different to the right hand side. What's that all about? Um, is it like stormy and weathery over there? Maybe like sunny over here? It's not It's not quite clear um, in that uh, picture there. Uh, anyway, so we'll get back to the uh, blog post now. Okay, so the features list in um, in this game as they've updated on the Steam page. I'm going to read through them all though um, in different sections. Well not all of them but you know. Um, it looks like uh, it's definitely better than the game that they could have released earlier in the year. Let's put it that way. Um, so you've got stuff like freeform object placement, you've got curved paths, the 3D track editor, you've got Fully deformable train and water, which we've seen the train construction at PAX. 
Um, there's a lot of in-game objects uh, that is going to be off the bat as well. Uh, there's multiple maps and themes. That's quite interesting. The fact there's loads of different themes uh, will be interesting to see. UGC, which we've already gone through. Uh, there's going to be more detailed part management tools. Um, interesting um, that it's they've got stuff like heat maps now. Um, so maybe the temperature matters in the game now, you know. Um, there's going to be sandbox, and there's also going to be scenario and campaign modes, like usual. There's responsive environments and guests. Uh, basically, that means we can create theme zones, and it will have a, it'll have an impact. This is more explained packs, so I'm not going to go through this now. But in short, when you put when you put themed objects down, certain guests like say adventure theme more than space, and will go, and thus your adventure ride will. will be of interest to that person. That's just summing it up, but it's more explained um, packs, so I'll come back to that in, in the next video. Um, there's better physics, apparently. Um, you can ride every coaster, but we knew that. Interesting, though, when it comes to services. You, obviously, your janitorial entertainment and mechanical um, are there from last time. Uh, no security, interestingly, announced here, but Interesting that medical is mentioned, so maybe medical uh, s uh, things make a return. I mean, that's what everyone was crying out for on forums, that they wanted people to, you know, get sick or whatever, you know, and get injured maybe in the park. Uh, social media, there's going to be like, uh, they're going to be integrating social media into the game. Um, they've also got like a whole bunch of um, new cameras. Uh, are going to make it um, really easy to like make uh, for best camera angles. Um, it's also uh, it works with the Steam friends list, and then we can see someone's latest coaster or I mean, last head to the park. You can visit a friend's park off the bat. Um, that's one of the only things you can do. Uh, multiplayer, pretty much like well, not multiplayer, but like. With another friend off the bat, you can visit their parks. As we've said, Steam Workshop support is there from the start. So, that's pretty much everything that these blog posts say right now. As I say, I'm going to do a PAX video. Um, ne probably next week, once PAX is finished, and we'll have a chance for the blog post to come out. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, so that's pretty much all the news so far. We're getting closer to launch. Now, I have said the launch-ish is going to be quarter four 2015. So expect to probably a Christmas launch, maybe November, around that sort of uh, time. Now, because they've said pre-order information at PAX, that does imply there is going to be some pre-order bonuses and pre-order stuff coming our way. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well. But yeah, that's everything so far, so thanks for watching guys, uh, watch the video next week for more information on this game, I'll leave obviously all the links I've mentioned in the description below, um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in that video, goodbye!